Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum and greetings, Salishan Mo here. I just finished flying and testing FPV on my Ishin air loader, twin rotor configuration, and it was absolutely fun to fly it. I believe you have watched those videos already on my channel, or maybe you're gonna watch after this little unboxing of Dolphin from Skyzone Atom RC. Let's just unbox it very, very quickly, but before that, I wanted to tell you some people who do not like larger aircraft, they want to fly short range, mid range FPV on smaller, easy to carry air FPV airplanes. Well, this wing, swept forward, new, awesome wing is gonna be for you. See? Wing span, 845 millimeter, EPP material, 30 amp ESC, 5 to 6 inch propeller. Length is only 710 millimeter, motor 2204 or 2306, servo 9G only two servos, and 4S 1300 milliamp to 2200 milliamp batteries you can fly. Now, inside the box, a little bit of user manual, some printed papers. That shows I got the very first one, maybe, I'm not sure. Hopefully, I'm that lucky. So we have, I believe, these are the winglets, the vertical winglets, I believe. And then, look at this, look at those little wings right here. Okay, so we have wings, glass fiber spar, nose cone, and the beautiful little dolphin plane. Oh, there is one more mount here which is for your GoPro 6-7 camera, so the lens will stick out here, but it makes it very not aerodynamic, said some people. If you think this is not aerodynamic, just this little flat spot, what about that? The Ishin Air Loader has a very, very big flat spot, but in the air, this thing cruises and cuts through the wind like a hot knife through butter. So I'm not worried about aerodynamics here. All right, so this is this. Now let's assemble it quickly and see how it looks like. Check this out. Check this out. This little beauty right here. And that's why I was saying there's a new bad boy around the corner and coming to the town very, very soon. Now with this nose cone on, this is really sleek and sexy and very, very aerodynamic. Man, I can't wait to prepare it and fly it, but I have to go to Shenzhen tomorrow. So once I get back from Shenzhen, I have all the gear, motors, ESCs, servos. I'll be able to prepare it absolutely very, very quick and give it a flight and show you how it, how it flies and what FPV feels like on this one and how how many kilometers FPV flights we can do using 1300 milliamp, 1500 milliamp or 2200 milliamp batteries and inside this magnetic hatch man this is you can see i can pick the whole plane. really strong magnets here so we have this piece here i don't know why just to strengthen this area i'm not sure then we have this i have no idea what is this looks like a broken piece of foam but then we have accessories rubber bands oh we have also antennas check this out and screws now that is a lot of space for such a small plane to have batteries so 2200 milliamp batteries will fit perfect even a 5000 milliamp but balancing the CG might be an issue look at that this is what I like look at the space there and also they have given you two different structures here smaller and bigger for those who love iNave, so setting up iNave type of flight controllers, mounting them will be very, very easy. ESC motor, all can be mounted there. There's a plate here which can move forward and backward. I need to figure it out why they made this plate. Overall, look at that. Looks like everything considered for short to mid-range FPV pilots. 
What a sweet aircraft, man. Let me put everything back in so I don't lose anything. So stay tuned for NMRC Dolphin build, maiden flight testing, setting up with flight controller and FPV flight videos. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that little bell icon so you can get notification of all the upcoming new uploads and you won't miss the upcoming AWRC Dolphin videos.